met, you've been knowing Shamar for years. Yes, sir. Y'all did the brothers. Y'all did all kind of shit together. Hell yeah. Shamar Wild. Yeah. Shamar Wild. So Shamar, is so Shamar, Shamar is, is like two people. Like, you know, he's. he's <laughs> The ladies like you know the, the sexy, good looking leading man guy. Right. Like when he drink, he like a college party dude. Right. I think he turned into like a white boy, like a crazy, Absolutely. crazy like white boy wasted. He get white, white boy, boy. Wasted. So, but it's fun though. Right. But you don't know where it's gonna go. <laughs> it's like a pit bull with no chain. You like you don't know where that pit bull. Wherever he feel like running, he gonna jump over the gate. Is he gonna run out in the street? You don't know because he ain't got no chain. Right. So, we were in Tampa. And what was so hilarious about this story, he just, you know, popped up on us. <laughs> I was going to ask you, I'm like, because I came off stage and you and Shamar are in the green room. Yeah, because what happened was he had told me weeks ago before that, that, yo, B, I'm going to come check out one of your shows. And I was like, I was like, for real? He was like, nah, B, that shit look fun. I've been watching your Instagram and you be having so much fun with your shows, man. I'm going to come check that shit out. I thought he was bullshitting, but he was dead ass serious. So when we was in Tampa, as I said in my video um, on my page that, you know, it was me, you, and, and uh, Jay Reed and Big E, he was at the backstage door. And next thing I know, he's like, yo, he's like, yo, B, come downstairs. I'm, I'm here. Well, he hadn't called you prior to No, that. he surprised me, okay. which was so, which was dope. So when he got there, he was like eyes open. Never been to the comedy show. And we had all that lick in the green room. So at this, when he got there, he's not lit. He's so No, he regular. Okay, he regular. So I didn't know he he didn't eat though. <laughs> you can't be around us if you ain't eat something, nigga. Ah, uh, he didn't eat though. Man, you gotta put something on your you stomach. You know, he's trying to keep his abs, so he probably eat like a, a, a kernel of corn. Right. So he was in the green room getting it in with Big E and start getting twisted. And so when I came off that first set, I remember you was like your boy in there letting it go. Right. He was in that green room getting it. Getting it. So I'm like, I don't know how you going to make it because we got another show. You have two shows. And I already know. I'm like, I know how Bill is. After his show, he, he wants to throw something to the audience right. as a surprise. Y'all didn't see this coming. So I know he's going to bring him. Because we usually do our turn up. Right. And so, you know, during the Ladies Night Out tour... If you if you ever saw us on tour, you know at the end we always did like a the turn up where we would uh, invite ladies, you know, on stage. It's their birthday anniversary, anything that's celebratory. A tribute to the ladies. Yeah, a tribute to the ladies, and we give out roses and stuff. But the trick of it was they didn't know we was gonna make them dance. Right. So once the one first the first girl start dancing, they'd be like, oh snap! Some girls would tap out, but some girls would be like, let's go. Now he's got them all lined up on all stage. All lined so up. See it. This bill on the stage in the front, in the back, it's about 10 to 15 women celebrating all different stuff. Big E is running the DJ spot. Yeah. So real quick, um, I'm talking to, to Shamar and I said, Shamar, listen, this is, since you're here, I need a favor. I want you to be the surprise, you know, guest for the girls. Cause you know, I know they're going to go crazy. I didn't know how crazy. So he was like, yo, be whatever. Just, just give me this. What's the, what's the signal? I said, I'm going to say this, and then you're going to just come out the audience. Nobody knew, because he had a hat on and glasses, right. remember? They didn't even know it was him. So I said, ladies, I got a special guest for you all the way from L.A., Shamar Moore. And he comes up, and he's kneeling. You remember this? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he stands up, and he rips his shirt ah! over the top of his head like Michael Jackson, right? And the women... It was like it took them a second to process. Oh, that's him. That's really him. Right. Bruh. The, what's the screams not? They're losing it. it the, the women were acting like the big. Uh, 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 uh. And he was like, yo, ladies, what's going on? He drunk than a motherfucker. And so, ah. <laughs> so he grabs this one girl and lifts her up in the air. And he's like talking to her like, ah. like you know, happy birthday, whatever. <laughs> But she ain't got no panties on. <laughs> but we don't know that at, until like he turns her and it's straight Into ass. The audience. Straight, it's straight ass. ass. Everywhere. And then it was a dude in the audience. He was like, God damn, man. Put my bitch down, man. Somebody, somebody get my bitch, man. God damn. 